Welcome back to Meads Outdoor Adventures and in today's video we're going to be putting a piranha tooth bar on the coyote. Stay tuned. Of course, like all my videos, I like to start out with the tools that I'll be using for the job. Uh, first of all, I'll we'll go over the hardware. This is included with the kit. Some 5 8 stage grade 5 bolts, washers, lock washers, nuts, and the instructions. Uh, you're going to be needing a drill with a, up to a 3 quarter step drill to drill the holes. You need a marker to mark the holes. You need your punch and a hammer. Dead blow hammer to make sure it's on the bucket all the way. We got the three clamps over here to clamp it on while we're working on it. And after the holes are all drilled and we're ready to put it on, you're going to need seven eighths either on a wrench or a socket. With a socket wrench, you get it tight. And I also got to use a torque wrench. Um, I looked up the spec for a 5 eighths grade 5 bolt and it says 112 foot pounds, so that's what we'll be doing. Uh, as far as safety, you're definitely going to want some gloves for this job because that sucker is sharp. Uh, safety first. And you might need a tape measure just to double check things as you're doing, going along. So that's the tools we're going to be using. So let's get back over to the bucket and we'll mark out our holes. Okay, so the first step to installing it is, of course, put it on the bucket. And then we'll take either a dead blow hammer or... I'm going to use a piece of wood and make sure it's nice and seated on the bucket. And that's what it did to a 2x4, folks, so it is nice and sharp. But the next step will be to put the... Okay, so the next step is to put your C-clamps on. Now, these are a little different than I showed in the original video. Uh, I need some more depth to it. Uh, the other ones were too shallow, and I couldn't get past the teeth and onto the bucket. So uh, these ones will work, so we'll tighten these ones up. One right about there. Okay, on to the next step. Okay, so the next step is to take a felt tip marker. Just go around your hole with the slot. Making a mark on each side of your bucket. And after that's done, we can remove the clamps and remove the tooth bar. All right, so the next step in the book is to take these stickers and somehow put these right in the center of the hole. Kind of like that. After you got that done, you can remove the sticker. And I'll only show the video on this side, but uh, just rest assured it's the same deck on the other side. So next step I'm going to do is take a small drill bit, make a pile hole all the way to the outside. Uh, 
And the next step, just get your step drill bit. And hopefully you don't run out of battery before you make the big hole. All right, so I got the other hole drilled. Let's put this thing back on and see how good I did. Give it a couple of nice blows to make sure it's nice and tight on the bucket. Yeah, this side's giving me a little issue, so just use our clamp here. I'm going to squeeze it out just so slightly so I can get the nut started. There you go. But any way you do this, I uh, highly recommend after using it for a little while, double check the bolts, make sure they're still nice and tight, just like you would check any other bolt on your machine. And that's pretty much it. Take the clamps off. And there you go, folks. One piranha tooth bar hooked up to the new bucket on the coyote. Well, there you have it, folks. A brand new piranha tooth bar installed on a bucket. It only took about 15, 20 minutes with a few hand tools and a drill. And a very simple do-it-yourself job for you. If you want to protect your bucket, do it right. This product could be the one for you. I'll leave a link below in the description. So if you are interested in getting one for yourself, um, lead time was about, uh, I'd say about three or four weeks that I got it. Uh, that could all change with summer coming, spring and summer coming. Um, but it didn't take too long to get it. And uh, yeah, I'm antsy to get, get it and see what it can do. So that video will be coming soon. So if you wanna see that video, uh, Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss it and hit that bell. And if you liked uh, how I did this video, please hit that like button below. And if you want to see more, I have a few other videos I've already made. So uh, you're welcome to go check them out as well. So thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next time on Meads Outdoor Adventures. Take care.